Look what's arrived in the mail today. I have a new antenna. This is something that will be very familiar to a lot of my Australian viewers. This is a Station Master Mark One vertical antenna. This antenna was very, very popular in the 80s and 90s, I wanna say, before I was born. And uh, the this is a 27 meg antenna, also used on 10 meters as well. And basically it's a half wave end fed vertical antenna. You can see here that it's got quite a chunky coil at the bottom and basically you've got your coax goes in the bottom here in the SO239, uh, tapped off for your uh, impedance matching, impedance matching coil. And then your uh, coil then interfaces to the uh, radiating element. And you can see here that there's a couple of extra aluminium bits to extend this um, right up to about five meters long. And you can um, adjust the top element up and down to suit whatever frequency you want this to operate on. So in this case, I wanna be using this on the high end of 10 meters for my 10 meter repeater. I think this is going to end up being maybe the receive antenna. A little bit of a trip down memory lane for those who have uh, used or had one of these antennas before. Um, you can still buy them, obviously, because I've got this one brand new. This one's made by Shockwave, shockwave uh, shockwaveantennas.com.au. And uh, excellent quality. Like, look at the size of the coil on this thing and the size of the material made. It's very, very well made. Let me know in the comments below if you remember this antenna. Maybe you've still got a Station Master Mark I. They made a Mark II antenna, which got rid of the coil here at the base and it just looked like a straight vertical radiator element. The original design of this antenna was a little bit less um, uh, durable, it was a little bit more flimsy. The, uh, Peter who makes these antennas has corrected the design and it looks like really, really good. And uh, it stands up. I've had one of these on my roof for a number of years, I think four or five years and the only thing that it got was a little bit of a bend in the aluminium because of the wind and it was perfectly fine. It operated for, for years there until I sold it and I moved house and then I decided I needed another one. Basically, yeah, a lot of DX has been worked off of these antennas before. So this is gonna, as I mentioned, gonna go onto my 10 meter repeater. Now, for 10 meters, I also got one of these antennas too from, again, from Shockwave. This is different though. This is a 5 8 wave antenna. And what I've been doing over the last few days is I've just been restoring this antenna. Uh, the aluminium was all um, tarnished and oxidized a little bit. There was a little bit of corrosion around some bits where it hadn't. Be, I hadn't uh, sealed it for the weather. But I've just been cleaning it up. I used a little bit of vinegar, uh, one part vinegar, one part water, and a little bit of baking soda. And I've just been cleaning it up. And uh, it's this is quite a beefy antenna. This can handle quite a, a lot of power. I think this can handle like a couple of kilowatts at least. Not that I'm gonna be running that much power. But uh, a 5 8 vertical, this antenna compared to the Station Master offers just that little bit of extra gain and also a lower angle of radiation. Um, if you do some modeling of 5 8 antennas and half wave antennas and quarter wave antennas, you'll notice that the main lobe um, for the maximum gain in that direction when it's in when it's vertical like this It's a lot lower for 5 8 antennas and you also get that little bit of extra gain a uh, little bit of extra length as well I think this antenna ends up being because 5 8 wave is about 0.64 of a wavelength This one ends up being uh, about six and a half meters long. So You've got a little bit of extra uh, capture area too and one of the issues that I also had was the tap off point. So you'll see here on the bottom of the antenna, I'm just making sure I'm not gonna take out the lights. Um, you've got an SO239 connector here with a little tap off for the coil. And uh, what had happened was is this had uh, developed again some corrosion, it's used as brass, wasn't very, uh, I didn't seal it very well. So uh, I just need to re-solder the connection back on here again and I've just cleaned this up for uh, our tap off point, which I've marked on the coil and uh, then we'll be good to go again. So yeah, fun little project. Um, I've also done a couple of other modifications like I've double nutted the main vertical radiator here to the base to make sure that uh, that doesn't come loose because this flexes quite a bit in very, very heavy winds. Uh, I also misplaced the radials. You'll see here the cross radials um, that go on to the bottom of the antenna. So I got some new radials which have arrived. So these are in total, I think about two and a half meters long 
per radial, so you end up with some, as you can imagine, this is quite a big antenna. Uh, so these are, these are extra spare radials for this antenna to um, get, me back, uh, get me back up and running. And this antenna will probably be used on the transmitter because uh, the extra gain, and I can stick this at the location that's uh, where the transmitter is, it's gonna be the best and have the best antenna there. And then I can use the voted receivers with some different antennas, maybe a horizontal or uh, a couple of verticals or maybe a horizontal beam or something like that to uh, fill in some of the spots there. So I'm running out of time. What are we at? We're at sort of mid-October now. So I'm really uh, trying to get the 10 meter repeater on the air. I'm just waiting for a couple of extra bits to arrive. So uh, keep following my channel to uh, keep up to date with the progress on that one. It's taking up a lot of my time, but I really want to get 10 meters and the repeater up and on the air very soon because uh, this solar cycle is really exciting me. So if you haven't seen the repeater build so far, then I'll pop up a video on the screen right now and you can go off and check that out. So keep, uh, keep up to date here and uh, hopefully we'll have this thing on the air soon.